Good morning, it is day 34. It's probably like 8.15. We definitely slept in and relaxed a little. We have like a little less than seven miles to get to Boots Off, which is where we would really like to shower. But there's a big incline like right away, but that shouldn't be too bad. And then we're hoping to just shower, resupply a little bit, do laundry and then get back on the trail. It's pretty chilly this morning. I'm surprised yesterday was actually like pretty warm until like the evening. But uh, yeah, um, not too many people on trail right now. We just got an update from one of Snake Farm's friends, Mass Hole, which if you're watching, hi Mass Hole, I've never met you before, but hope your hike is going well. He hiked the Pinhoti Trail and now he's on the AT. But he was just saying how many people are on the like trail right now. He's like passing like 100 people a day, which is so hard to imagine. I don't know, it would just be very different if we started even probably like a month later. But um, I'm excited to just kind of have a little bit of, I don't know, more wilderness to ourselves until more people catch up because we're not going crazy fast. But yeah, taking it one day at a time. These look like little butterfly wings. Got the river over there, and then we're going straight up one of these guys. This is a five-star bridge. Made from two giant logs. Good morning, it is pretty cold. It's pretty chilly this morning. It's, I think it's probably like 8.30 now. So we did not get up early, which is fine. We're only gonna do like a seven and two boots off. So not a big day, which would be nice. And then we're not gonna stay there. We're gonna head out, but do a couple miles. But I'm definitely feeling um, my body a little bit, just my knees kind of, and uh, the bottom, or I guess the outside of my foot. So just all that hiking and it'll be nice to kind of take a bit of a shorter break and hopefully a zero in the next coming week, yay. Good morning. Good morning. Got this blue blaze of Hampton. Got the white blaze to the falls and Pond Mountain. to see but Hampton down there ten thirty little snack break got another three and some change to boots off there's Watago Lake down there, very nice. Very chilly, haven't seen anyone else today. Snake Farm and I were just saying we really feel like we're in it. Oops. Kind of felt like this when we were at the shelter, just experience everything and yeah, we're a month in, we're really here, we're doing it. Sunshine. But yeah, we're really, it's been a dream for a long time and fun that it's become a reality and we're getting to live the hiker life again. 11.30 now. A couple wilderness signs. So this is technically a little reroute for this year and it's really easy to follow and it's also marked in gut hooks or get out and so or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, we're getting close to boots off.
little V8, a little pizza, made it to Boots Off. This is such a cool little like sitting room, making the pizza now. Snake farms in the hiker box. Free food, free food. Coffee with the cinnamon is so good for my soul. So grateful for these little joys. Much love, Snow. Leaving Boots Off Hostel, seeing this beautiful lake, and I guess we get to walk alongside it. So that was a nice day. We got a pizza. We resupplied a little bit. I think we're maybe 40 miles from Damascus, Virginia. So another two days, give or take. Not too bad. And we got to meet the owner. We got to meet Jim. That was really cool. I guess he originally is from Wisconsin and he bought this property to kind of be closer to his mom and to take care of her. She ended up passing away, I think in January, unfortunately, but um, yeah, he's been open for the hikers and it was really nice chatting with him. We got some delicious coffee, which is great. I got a V8 too. And now we're ready to get back on trail. And I think we're gonna try for maybe nine miles or something. So we'll just see how far we get. 240 now. I just had a really nice conversation with one of my best friends, Jojo, and we were just catching up. It was nice to hear from her and get her like input on to kind of hear what she thinks of the trail. And now I'm just gonna wait for Snake Farm and we've got seven miles to go. And it's actually turned into a pretty nice, beautiful day. Nice to be hiking around this lake. Montana Dam vibes. Turns to a gorgeous day. It's the dam! Crunch, crunch. Once again, Snake Farm got another snake. Biggest one so far. Following the blazes, right there on the ground, spotted. Lead us forward. There's another, there's another. Just so no one gets lost. Out here in the wilderness. <laughs> there's the road. Here he comes. Lovey. Hello. Hi, love. Oh, I see him. What a lizard. Hey, buddy. Last couple miles of the day, got a mile and a half and we're going to Van Deventer, Van Deventer shelter, I think. Um, Boots Off was a really awesome hostel. I'm still thinking about that coffee I had with the cinnamon, it was amazing. And got a V8, which is always nice. And it was really cool. We were like the only people there for like, right when we got there. So it was kind of nice to have the place to ourselves and meet the owner and yeah, I feel like we're getting such a, cool experience because we started early and I'm really enjoying being out here with Snake Farm and just, I don't know, we're living our dream, which is really exciting. So I'm happy we can share it with whoever is interested and I hope, you know, you get something out of it too, if only for the beautiful views or for Snake Farm's behind as he hikes up the mountains. <laughs> Oh, 
This is so strange. We made it to the shelter and no one else is here. It's not really the best shelter. It's one of the older ones. They built in the 60s and 70s. I think this one's 1968. And the water's like a steep point three away as well. Built in 1961, so Thanks, pretty buddy. old, but good view from the back. Oh yeah, I can kind of see a little bit. Now let's go to the view. Oh wow. That's very nice. It's like the whole reservoir, whole lake. Beautiful. Not too many people signed in, but sunshine is divine, pushing on, but feeling it today. Stay strong and keep on hiking. Snow and snake fall. hiked maybe a little less than two more miles from the shelter and we have a nice campsite hopefully it won't be too windy tonight but it ended up being a good day and I think we got 32 31 miles to get to Damascus Woo.